oh, you want content? I'll give you content. On the left side of your screen, we have a cubic grain, hypersensitive panchromatic film. It has worked its way through many iterations of itself, HP2, HP3, HP4, HP5, and now HP5+. Plus. We welcome it from Cheshire, Cheshire, United Kingdom? I have no idea. Please don't roast me in the comments. Anyways, it will be facing off on my YouTube channel today against Kodak Tri-X 400, another cubic gram hypersensitive panchromatic film beloved by photojournalists all the way to the big screen, hailing from Rochester, New York. I really wanted this to be like a wrestling in in introduction, but uh, it's harder than I thought. Anyways, we're going four rounds today. We have tone, resolution, sharpness, and of course, my lovely and favorite, grain. Let's get into it. Honestly, I thought I was going to troll on HP5 this entire episode. For whatever reason, I had it in my head that Tri-X was just better, for whatever reason. I have no idea, to be honest with you. Um, but, uh... <laughs> They're so similar, I don't know what to say. <laughs> They're so incredibly similar. Um, I, uh, I tried to shoot both of these. I shot them a, uh, a day after the other, so... Um, but I'm tripping over my own words. I shot them both at box speed, which is 400, and I tried to shoot them in similar lighting conditions. So these are both shot in uh, mid-afternoon with relatively overcast light. So, yeah. Um, in this instance, there's something about HP5 that's just doing it for me a little bit more than the Tri-X. Just a little bit more. So on the left with HP5, we're going with 15 stars, and on the right, we're gonna go with 13 stars. What do you want me to say? They're so similar. There's like, I don't see, <laughs> I don't know, 15 stars. just it's nice I just want more I just I like grain <laughs> I really like grain it's just who I am as a person um not bad though it looks nice it's very pleasing it's nothing it's not like there's anything wrong with it um I just want more of it because greedy um 10 stars also I should mention that grain Sharpness and resolution had the same star rating for both films. The only one that was different was uh, tone. Anyways, I'll get into that in the next segment. Did we just become best friends? I think we just became best friends. Okay, I joke. Like I said a bit earlier, when we were talking about tone, for some reason I just thought Tri-X was better. I have no idea. Maybe it's because <clears throat> I am a filmmaker, like outside of YouTube, I enjoy making films and 
maybe I just have seen so much Kodak floating around when I'm at work, like actual film canisters that I just like had it in my head that that was the go-to for everybody. I also really am a big fan of photojournalism and Triax is really, really popular in photojournalism. So I think that's why I just like subconsciously thought it was better. Um, I do, the reason I did this video is because my main customer at, in my lab, my small lab here, shoots HP5 and with every roll, I'm like, dang, that's a nice film. It's super contrasty, I, I enjoy the grain. Um, and it's significantly cheaper than Kodak, like significantly. I think this is around $11.50, $12, so maybe closer to 13 now, I can't honestly remember. But Tri-X is like $20 a roll, and this is all Canadian, but it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. Um, and honestly, there's really not much of a difference. I, I, you could give me a roll of somebody else's photos, one of Tri-X, one of HP5, and if they were shot properly, both at box speed, with no like big differences, it'd be pretty hard to tell the difference unless you really, really knew what you were looking for. And maybe I'll get to that point, but not anytime soon. So, um, yeah, HP5. I guess I'm an Ilford boy now. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Obviously they're great at black and white stocks, so that's what I shoot. That's what I'm gonna keep doing. Um, let's look at some photos, shall we? Cool. Uh, first two, Jane, because Jane. We love Jane and Jane. To be honest, I don't have many favorite photos from um, I don't have many photos, very, I don't have any favorite photos from these two rolls. Not because there isn't any good photos, I just, I don't know. There's something lacking, you know what I mean? Just something off a little bit. Um, with this HP5 roll, it's one going across the bridge. Um, again, I, I don't love it, but I like the concepts here. I, I think I did a good job of using um, foreground framing. I did a good job of framing a subject in the background with that like solo building there. And I tried again to hide that city using the bridge there. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to this bridge, play around. Um, there's a whole bunch of those little holes throughout the bridge on either side. So I'm gonna go stick around there for a day and just play around with them. I think there's some really good shots there. And yeah, I like this because it showed me the potential of that area. Um, next, I just wanna talk about something I shoot often, something I, uh, I don't know what type of photographer I am. Um, sometimes I consider myself a street photographer, but I can I think my photos lack a significant a significant amount of people um, and chaos to be considered street photography. I call myself a neighborhood photographer. Um, most of my photos are taken with Walking Jane through random neighborhoods. You know, my neighborhood, neighborhood over there, neighborhood over there, up there, down there, whatever. Neighborhood photographer. One thing I look for. One of the main things I look for. Um, what you're seeing in these photos right now is dogs and cats, just people's pets. Um, it's become something I just really enjoy shooting. I just love seeing animals chilling in windows or chilling on fence lines or hanging out in the yard or on the front steps, bathing in the sun, all this good stuff. Unfortunately, <laughs> none of these photos really work. Um, they're either overblown or I just wasn't working the angle of reflection properly and it's just super distracting and doesn't complement the image whatsoever um yeah that's that i think that's all i got for you this week yeah i uh i enjoyed doing the verses i think there's a few more films that i could theoretically do this with that makes sense um i know i've done delta 100 and t-max 100 but they have a 400 speed film in delta and T-Max, so I think that would be a really good comparison to do, especially with this like little light I have right now, 400 speed and up is gonna be my friend. Um, speaking of, I did finish my rolls of Kodak Gold and I messed them all up, so. <laughs> I'm just not a good color photographer. I just haven't taken the time to learn. I don't have the patience, I really don't. So uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing there yet. Um, Maybe I'll make like a separate video about how not to use a flash. I I don't know. I have no idea what the plan is for that. But uh, yeah, that's all I got, I think. Love you, bye.